I get up there? No. Right. Where am I going now? She wanted me to look at something, didn't she? Hang on. These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. Monarch was made aware of its existence shortly after it was completed. In 1999. 1999. They believe it was destroyed shortly after. I imagine Will wanted to keep it that way. Okay. That's lots of, like, pressing big red buttons in this game. Oh wait, hang on. Activate the core. Where was that big red button that they wanted me to press? Here we go. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? Uh, Brown thing. it's very red. That generally means it's broken. It's okay. Where's Amy gone? She seems to have disappeared. I find it very bizarre that the people that aren't important just disappear. They kind of should like hang around for this continuity. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine. He said the countermeasure was stolen. But the machine is still here. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No, I have no idea. I'm not a physicist. <laughs> I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. But he told you what to do. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leads to. We have to test it. The core. It's not going to go well. Okay, I'm going to go and eat my dinner. We'll see. So I'm going to pause this. I'll be back. Right, let's carry on. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. Uh. Where's the control booth? How do I get out of here? This is it, isn't it? Key fits. It looks like I have to do something else first. What do I have to do first? Need to activate the core first. Oh wait, is that somewhere else? Where is this core thing? Will I received the massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. Wow. He never told a soul. He is very clever then. All right. Got to activate the core. Do you reckon like the people who made the Hadron Collider just totally sent this game's company loads of their plans and were just like, "Hey, use that." Because it's very similar. Here goes nothing. Oh, I'm supposed to be. I, I have to actually do it myself. What was that? Oh, it's working. It's fine. That's what's meant to happen. It worked. It actually worked. Okay. We activate the corridor next. Okay, there's no way that thing should be exposed like that. It's 
fine. Yes. Will's key did that? I don't know. Yeah. I think so. How do we get over to it? That's my brother in the hatch. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. Okay. Activate the corridor. <clears throat> How do I do that? I have to actually go walk into it. Okay. Go. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. What? I don't think it's working. <clears throat> we were so close. We weren't really close. I you, are. you saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. Yeah, I don't think we can fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. <clears throat> oh, that's better. Sophia Amaral. The monarch side. Oh, I met her earlier. She was fleeing in a helicopter. <laughs> it's Gala, isn't it? Gala? It's not Gala, is it? Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. Oh, are we like handing ourselves in? Like, on purpose, I guess? End of Act 2. Now we get to watch the uh, episodic part of the Act 2, Episode 2. <clears throat> so I can sit back, relax, I don't have to do anything. Be nice, I suppose. Junction two, business slash personal personnel. The used to be so clear. <clears throat> I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan, and the visions. Which could be wrong, or could be like completely implanted, or all sorts of nonsense. Why, exactly. Or how it would end. There is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day. <clears throat> Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. What? I totally did fucking find it. Time. Fine, don't listen to me. If he really <laughs> to the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? <clears throat> Sophia, what happened to Dr. Henry Kim? Eric Cross. First of all, my condolences and apologies. I didn't realize you had a history of Henry. Frankly, I would not have promoted you into this position had I known. Oh. If you would be more comfortable working on something else, I can make that happen. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Dr. Sophia Amaral had taken over our Cronon research department after Dr. Kim's accident. She was the only one who could treat the Cronon syndrome. Okay. So that cross lady's been questioning what happened to Dr. Kim. 
Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. Oh shit, yeah, he handed himself over, didn't he? Oh yeah, I can see him. There he is. Hey, Jack. It's weird playing as the evil character, like, if he is evil. I'm not really sure what's going on, to be honest. Don't even twitch. Oh, look, lunch. Thank you, guys. PB and J, my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Um, is this going to be another one of those choice things? Yeah. It is. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or, I could let Hatch deal with him, so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Personal business. Okay, let's see. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? Without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Hmm. Okay. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Torts, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me. But Sounds like that guy from the Matrix. Cause, dead and buried, along with the rest of my past. Okay. Tonight is a celebration. A celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Uh, God, I don't know which one to pick. Serene chooses to focus on leading Monarch rather than waste of time on Jack. Serene chooses to focus on his relationship with Jack and let Monarch fend for itself a while. I kind of want to pick business because I know that, like, Hatch or whatever he's called, Martin Hatch or whatever he is, he kind of wants to take over Monarch. I know that for a fact. And if we let him give the speech, it gives him an opportunity to try and, like, mingle his way into the company. Whereas if Serene is distracted giving the speech, I might be able to get away with what I'm trying to get away with. That's what I'm thinking. So I might pick business. Plus I kind of want to know whether Jack dies. Like obviously we can't kill off the main character, surely. Because he gets interviewed later on. So I think I'm going to pick business. Think. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows, then get rid of him. They're all heart money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack, but that's far away. I don't know if that was the right choice, but we'll see. And I have a speech to prepare for. I kind of want him off and distracted so that I can sneak into where I need to get to and do what I need to do. But I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it, all the way to 1999, when it all started. Okay, so he went forwards to the end of time, and then he went back to 99. I'm trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Okay, so in a way he has caused this. He went back to 1999 to try and fix stuff, and in a way he's kind of made it worse. Oh, I'm in the minority. 46% of the community agreed with your choice. Other people chose personal. So, like... Over 50% chose personal. 